Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today we're going to be continuing our series of what props you should use in which zone and today we're going to be focused on a desert zone. So first things first we're going to crack open Blender and of course first thing everyone thinks of when they think of a desert would be a cactus. I do have a tutorial on how to make a cactus already but I'm going to run through it real quick in case you missed that video. I'm going to hop into Blender, click on tab, go into your edit mode and delete all of that by pressing delete on on your keyboard we're gonna spawn in a cylinder I think I am gonna go with five sides if you want it proportional you can definitely do that but uh, I think I'm gonna go with five sides looks pretty good to me we're gonna go to our face select mode click on that I'm gonna press one to go into front ortho orthographic view I don't know how to say that sometimes then we're gonna press e click e click e click and e click there we go s to scale in right here uh, click on our line select mode hold alt and it'll click all of those lines We're gonna scale this guy out a little bit this guy out a little bit and this guy probably in a little bit Something like this looks pretty okay to me and uh, then we're just gonna do the exact same thing uh, We could really just grab this if we want shift D to duplicate bring it over just like this and uh, Start bending it. All right, so let's go ahead and grab this by pressing L and scale it down a bit because you know it doesn't have to be as big as the other one it's just one of the little cactus arms we're gonna grab this guy uh, let me go into my front view so I can just rotate real easy something like this and we'll bring it over and then we're gonna grab all of this which do I have to uh yeah of course all right wireframe mode boom B there we go I should probably go to face select mode though there we go I'm gonna drag this guy over all right then I'm gonna drag this guy over and then we're going to have to grab this and rotate it with R gonna drag it up a little bit over a little bit maybe down maybe a little more rotation something like this guy Guys, press L and just join it up going to press Z to go back into solid mode and we have our first little cactus uh, branch I guess now we're gonna do shifty again boom I am gonna rotate this 180 perfect and this is our cactus now we can add a little bit of variation s we're gonna press uh, SZ to kind of scale this guy up and we're gonna shrink him in and there we go there is our cactus guys all right so prop one done I am gonna go ahead and grab this guy and move it a little bit so it's on that flat side and we can even turn it a little bit so it matches this we're not gonna do it to the other one though so we have a bit of variation so here's our first prop for our desert zone let's move it over to the side and of course if we want to shade smooth and go to right here normals auto smooth there we go gives it a good little look the next prop for a desert is going to be the rock kind of like those rock formations we're going to just start with a cube and i think how i want to do this is loop cut the middle of this with Control r uh grab this face right here go up some and then oh, i don't know maybe maybe a little less than that actually so something like this and then e to extrude this guy S to scale it in desert rocks are super super weird they're just really awkward shapes all right so you could do really anything you want I think I need to grab all of this down here and scale the bottom out just a bit like so and maybe grab this line scale it out a little bit and something like this should be okay for our desert rock they look a lot cooler when you get them in studio and making a little scene with it we should also make a little plateau type rock uh, so I'm just gonna do the same thing let me go back into object mode shift a mesh cube and actually we should probably use a cylinder let's do that shift a mesh oh my gosh okay I'm trying to rush cylinder perfect and I'm going to just scale this and then shrink it down and scale it in something like this guy uh, well n maybe not let me see well we'll go to um mesh transform randomize and see if we could do something a little weird with this guy all right something like this looks all right i am gonna mess with this vertice on the end though to make it a little bit less sharp and make it fit more of what we're going for i think something like this will be a-okay for what i'm going for tab that can be an object and fences is another thing that looks pretty good in a desert so let's go ahead and make one of those shift a mesh cube i am doing very simple meshes guys but this this series is more of the how to like like what should you put in the zones not how to make a super super detailed object so if you want to see any of these props more in depth definitely let me know in the comments below guys i, I love helping you guys out and i love dude I'm, I'm just gonna be the best 
at helping people, all right? We're gonna add two loop cuts. These are with Control R, just to give a little bit of bend in the fence. You know, a little, little more cartoon-esque look, all right? This guy, we're gonna put one just right in the middle and bend him kind of like in a little bit something like that looks pretty good and you could bevel these two guys but for now i'm gonna keep square also before i forget let me shade these smooth and uh do their their normals and stuff like this the auto smooth i don't know if it really does anything but in my head it does at the very least so <laughs> it's all good go back into edit mode perfect and i'm gonna do shift a bring in a another cube perfect scale this guy down and then s and x to scale it out all the way out to fit this we're gonna grab this guy right here shift d make another one perfect and here is our fence we could probably go a little bit thicker um so we're gonna do s x i believe nope s z there we go on that one nice and then on this one as well s z now we have our little fence i can also add a loop cut in here if i wanted and make this go down and then one up here um, and make it go like down to like just a little bit of bends. There we go. There's our fence, our cactus and our rocks. Now let's go ahead and hop into studio and build a little scene. All right, guys, here we are in my row build their uh, little studio place. If you missed any of these videos, hey, you want to know how to make trees in studio? I mean, not the best trees, but you know what? They're there. Uh, oh, gosh, let me let me go ahead and just grab this guy. Control L. There we go. And uh, if you want to know how to make trees and not use Blender, go ahead and check out that video. I know they're not amazing, but it is what it is. It's studio parts, all right? And then we also did one of these videos that you're watching right now for a aqua underwater zone. So if you want to see how we made all of this stuff, go check that out as well. Now, here we go. Uh, wow, I guess we were going to do candy next. Nope, we're doing desert. We should probably just grab this piece. Uh, because it's like the same thing, alright? It's literally the same than <laughs> what we're gonna be doing for the ground. So, first things first, let's go to bulk import and bring in all those meshes. Alright, apply all. This is gonna bring in our four little meshes, and it's gonna be a great day for everybody. This is gonna be the cutest little scene you've ever seen, bro. Oh, scene you've seen? Oh, I'm too good. I'm just too good, honestly. Alright, here we go, guys. Now, all of this stuff is, of course, way too big for this guy. And we do not need the particle. Let me go ahead and rename this, get rid of the particle, and find a new particle. Uh, we'll find a particle at the end, guys. Really get everything real nice. This guy, we're going to go ahead and make brown. Perfect, but a bit lighter of a shade. Nice. We have our fence. Let me go ahead, scale, shift, bring this guy down. There we go. These guys are going to be this type of a color. Perfect. And the cactus is, of course, going to be green. Uh, and guys, you can add, you know, like spikes and everything to the cactus if you absolutely want to. But once again, these series are not in-depth builds uh, tutorials. It's more so to show you what props you can use in your zones. So I'm going to go ahead and build up this little scene real quick and we'll be right back. All right, guys, I did forget one asset that looks super, super, super good in the desert. Let me go ahead and whip that up for you real, real quick. It's a super simple one, but it looks amazing. OK, and I forgot about it until I was building the scene. Basically, shift a now you could do this with a cube or a cylinder. We're going to go ahead and do it with a let's go cylinder. No, 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 no. We're going to go cube. All right. It's going to be a super, super simple one. Buster, you got to chill. All right, guys. He's asking for a like on the video. If you could drop a like and help your boy out, I would appreciate you so much. All right. Build this up, guys. All right. Go to your line select and we're just going to scale these down. So scale this guy down, make it pretty much to a point, then scale this guy down. Nice. And we're just going to make pretty much a spike. Something like this, guys. All right. Up next, we're going to go ahead and grab this top face. Let me do that real quick. And then I'm going to turn on this little circle, proportional editing. If you can't find it, even though it's right here, you can press O, it'll turn it on. We're going to press 1 and then G to grab and our mouse wheel to move this up. Now, what this is going to let us do is kind of curve this like so. We're going to click. We're going to do it again, G, but move our mouse wheel up. And this is just to kind of curve it and make it nice. So something like this, let me export that and I'll see you in studio. All right, guys, so here is our desert spike, okay? And I'll also show you the scene that I've set up so far. We're gonna hold shift to scale this guy down because we are making very tiny seeds over here. But check it out, guys. We're gonna put him right here, turn this guy around, 
and we only made one you might be like bro what is that it's really nothing yet guys so we're gonna just duplicate this turn it into a 180 degrees from the first one and drag it uh control l get our little uh our little you know moving right boom and then we're gonna do control d and it's gonna be like those rib cage things all right guys so just scale it down a little bit each time after like duplicating it scale it down and just do that a couple times guys there we go it's looking good i think i'll do it on both sides though so let me just grab these and duplicate them let me turn them 180 degrees drag them to the other side and you don't want it to be perfect perfect like this so i'm actually gonna drag these ones up just a hair so it's uh, big and then it gets small now let's color these because of course gray is not the best color to use for this we are going to do white like so and we're going to do control g to group now guys this is how i would make a desert scene in roblox studio and blender oh snap we forgot this guy you gotta you gotta go to man and, and you gotta be grouped together it is what it is all right this is how i would make a desert scene in blender and the props i would use let me grab a particle real quick and we'll wrap this guy up all right guys here's our particle i think this looks absolutely insane i think we did really really good let me group this all together Control g and name it desert oh wait i forgot with models i could just go right here desert there we go let me know what zone you want to see next to make props for hopefully you did enjoy have a great day later